Hey pals and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Antonov2 and today I've got another leftover of a patch 8.8 .8 test server. This is a game that I had in my SU-122-54 the tier 9 Russian tank destroyer. The reason I was playing this was to test out whether I should get this line or the line of the ISU-152 and I must say the impression that I got of this game uh, really swung my mind into the favour of this line here and it wasn't an amazing game but it was good enough and this was the first and only game that I ever had in the SC12254 actually so uh, yeah I got a pretty nice impression of it and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to head out for this centre part like I like to do in kind of pretty accurate or decently accurate tanks to get some shots at passing tanks trying to go to the a, a, to the J line there, so uh, that's what you're gonna see me do now. And I take a position behind these bushes because they give me camo value, and I'm anyway pretty stealthy, so that's good. And now, watch out what asshole this I'm gonna encounter. I aim and widely miss my shot, and why do I miss my shot? Because this asshole T54 rams into me from the rear. Oh god, I hate that kind of behavior, you know. He must have seen that AMX 5100 in front of me. He must have seen that I was attempting to shoot at him. And he's got nothing else to do than to ram into my ass and just absolutely spoil my shot. Oh, God. So, to make up for that, I torch for 110. But then, the Tiger 2 ninjas the kill when he's down on 3 HP. Which was not very nice of him, but I do it sometimes too, so I have to kind of forgive him. What I cannot forgive is that absolutely retarded T-54 who just had to... Oh, God! Please deinstall World of Tanks. You're a disgrace. Oh, for God's sake. If you're watching this, just... Oh, don't, please, please, just... Go away! I, I don't like you! Oh, Holy cow! Let's see, what's his name? T-54. Vlad636. Ugh! If I see you ever again... Oh, yeah. So, anyway, um, now that I've stopped raging... <laughs> you, we're pushing down this flank, and you can see my good speed allows me to... move around the battlefield fairly quickly, and... Uh, the matchmaking is pretty good, I forgot to point that out, there are only 6 tier 9 tanks in each team. So, we're easily able to catch up with the heavy tanks down here, uh, because we spent the first few minutes of the game sniping. And that's one thing that I really love about this vehicle, the versatility that it gets because of its good speed. So, there's the Lover in front of us, and there's another guy who had to ram me, for what reason, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to track the Lover, but he draws into cover before I'm fully aimed, so I decide to go up front, attack him from the rear, and take him out. I have to be a bit careful with that T95, the E50 just died over there in that corner, but the T95 might get shots into me, but I'm pretty sure he's aiming the other way, so I think it's safe to go and get the Lover. So... And I bounce, I just don't aim, just take a kind of a snapshot and I bounce up his turret, which is a shame. But maybe we can finish him off. Ah, yes, first kill. Okay, that was nice. And our team's doing pretty well, 10 to 2 is the score. So there's an IS-6 up there, I'm just going to try to take him out, go into RT shelter here because the RT is on our left side. And it seems to be AFK because he isn't moving. Or wait, now he's is he pointing his gun at Ah, oh, he might not be AFK after all. My armor is not all that good. That 122 mm gun could really hurt me. But no, I think he isn't there. So we finish him off. That's a second kill. This is really great. Like this tank destroyer's got amazing DPM. It's got good rate of fire, good penetration, good accuracy, good aiming speed. But the alpha damage is very low. I think it's actually the lowest of any of the tier 9 tank destroyers. Or now I think the Fosh, the AMX-50 Fosh has got less alpha damage, but it seems that I like the tank strikes with little alpha damage and good DPM because I love the Fosh. 
and I really really like this one here it's a really nice tank and it looks very nice too so um, yeah I'm really liking this vehicle I'm looking forward to getting it sometime soon so I could head up to get the R2 but I decide to attack that 112 and the T-34 from the rear I think I can help my team more by doing that so the T-34 is not facing my way whatsoever so I can should be able to get a shot to his rear but now he's facing me ah i ricochet off his track so his tracks absorb the hit and now i have to retreat because he's got really good penetration good damage and i haven't got any armor so uh yeah now he's drawn behind cover so i decide it's safe to advance and you can see somebody from my team let's see here is a the the Louvre is pushing really hard and you can see the rt up there is come is driving down the ridge but i don't see that in the game actually at this moment yet so the t-34 oh god he's turning his turret my way again i have to be careful here get shot into his ass he tracks us only that was pretty lucky and can we finish him off go for the side of his turret very weakly armored i'd rather he sh shoot that than at his angled hull and now i'm thinking about well i'm not i'm just kind of driving around kind of a victory spin but then i see the rt has gone down the slope so i turn around do i uh i should turn around sometime um yeah now i turn around and 9 hp okay is it worth it oh yeah i get the scumbag so <laughs> article i i love killing artillery so i hope you enjoy that game i fear i can't give you any after game stats because it doesn't work with 8.8 .8 replay files so remember that when you're seeing this i'm not at home so i cannot answer your comments and so on so well you can comment if you want to feel free to do so but don't expect me to answer any of your questions in the comments for uh, till christmas so i won't be here till christmas and um yeah i hope you enjoyed this replay if you did consider giving it a like down below or even subbing to my channel i would appreciate it a lot and thanks for watching and i hope i'll see you in one of my next videos bye bye